The nanny state is back. Our UK government are going to be creating a support system for young people, the snowflakes, who don't want to go to work on Mondays. Oh dear God, here we go again. Okay, let's get this over with. Our government is all over the place. We have an aspect of uh, nanny statism that's still going on, regardless of the fact that we have a new prime minister who doesn't like nanny states, right? Liz Truss doesn't like nanny states. Yeah, she's not really stopping any of this nonsense yet. She's busy. Fine. Sure. Boris Johnson, Matt Hancock, these guys, when they were in charge, <laughs> they came up with a number of idiotic policies, some of them by listening to these weird con control freaks and think tanks, campaign groups, to, for example, change the size of pizzas, change the, num uh, the number of toppings you could have on a pizza, the adverts for chocolate, you think that's fine, <laughs> it gets bad. Because they also had a different idea, a new idea. And to launch a campaign to help young people to cope with the Sunday scaries, which sees their anxiety increase at the prospect of returning to work after the weekend. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the Department of Health launching this campaign. Uh, because <laughs> this is not for kids, by the way. This, like, there's a research that shows that three quarters of 18 to 24 year olds worry about returning to work on Mondays. This is absolutely hilarious. I'm pretty sure we all had it. When we were kids, yeah. When we were nine, on Sundays, like, I remember personally, it was like 9 p.m., and I'm looking at the clock. And I know, and I look at my mum, like, oh, I know she's, she's about to tell me to go to bed. It's Sunday evening. Oh, I'm going to have to go to, um, to school on Monday. I haven't done my homework. Then you grow up. You grow up. That's just how life works. You do have to grow up. Work is not like school. Work is life. Oh, my God. Let me have, we have an exclusive image of uh, what they're going to do. This is, <laughs> this is a pink... Barbie dollhouse uh, that they, I'm guessing 18 to 24 year olds could just hang out in on Sunday evenings so they could chill on their Instagrams and their Snapchats and whatever apps they use these days. <laughs> it's bad. I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. It's not funny because <clears throat> this is the trend that we are going towards. If we're not careful, and we are not careful, that's the problem. Not me and you, but the establishment. Everybody from not just politicians and government to also the cultural institutions and educational institutions, schools and universities are not preparing future adults anymore. They are just completely keeping humans as children. You've seen this, say, I don't know if you've seen, McDonald's, the, the fast food place, McDonald's, have launched a, a, a new thing, Happy Meal, that used to be for kids, but they're doing Happy Meals for adults. Like... <laughs> So there will be some like one or two people like, and as adults like ah oh, nostalgia is quite quite cool quite interesting. We do realize the long term consequences of the, of the wider society. It goes hand in hand with everything that's going on right now in our country and in the West. You're not allowing people to grow up. Everybody is still a children. Look at Femi. He's he's pick, I'm guessing he's fifty five years old. He looks like a twelve year old, but he actually his face looks like a sixty year old, and he's campaigning to rejoin the European Union. Just accept the result of the referendum and get a real job. I mean, I can't talk. I'm a YouTuber, a pot kettle. Uh, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Now, this is fascinating because Liz Truss you know, became prime minister. And she said, she said during her campaign, that I'm not going to tell you what to do or what to think or how to live your life. Now, she just became prime minister. So I'm going to give her some time. But she has to fix this. Cancel this campaign. It's, there's a cost to taxpayers. Nothing is free. Nothing government does is free. We'll see if Liz Truss is able to cancel this idiotic idea. Now, we even had uh, Mike Graham of Talk TV coming out. His response and his reaction to this news was, <clears throat> Dear, oh dear. Scared to go back to work on a Monday? Whatever next. <laughs> Let's have a group hug. I mean, that, that's absolutely, that's the whole point. They want group hugs for everybody. Um, Mike Graham is absolutely spot on on this issue. So... Why? Why are we doing this to ourselves?
the Easterners, the Far East, in Asia, are laughing at us. We're so busy, they're debating toilets and rainbows and unicorns that we, we don't really actually focus on the priorities of not just the country, forget about the country, priorities of us as humans, human beings with self-determination and responsibilities and values. You know, it's all out of the window now. It's all gone for now. We're going to have to fight back. We're going to do it together, guys, on this channel. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back in half an hour. We're going to give you more updates uh, from the uprising in Iran. Some stuff is happening when it comes to the Iran state television that used to hire Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> 